welcome everybody to uh, my new setup. I'm using some new software. I've got a different camera, uh, better lighting, and I've moved things around yet again. Anyway, this video is all about AI. So this is the first video in a series called Will AI Take My Job? And I'm going to cover all sorts of different jobs in IT, cybersecurity, obviously, uh, networking, help desk, sysadmin, network engineers, as well as things like teachers, drivers, truck drivers, etc., etc. the list goes on. So this video is going to be about cybersecurity specifically. If I can get you to stop meowing while I'm making videos. Hmm? So with these videos, I'm going over a set list of questions which I write down and um, then I'll mark a score at the end to if I believe that cybersecurity is going to take over that particular job in that industry. Without any further ado, let's get into the questions. So question number one is how much human interaction is required to fulfill your position? And for this one, I'm going to focus on cybersecurity engineers. Now, cybersecurity engineers don't actually need any human to human interaction. Um, which I guess is a score down for them. So it's an interesting one because as a, a cybersecurity engineer, you do need to talk to customers. And if you're working in a SOC team, you need to talk to your teammates and go to meetings and things like that. So I guess it, it goes deeper into the question then of can the job be automated? Now, automation exists in IT already. It's not something new. And it's actually something people work towards because they don't have time to do like menial tasks, like checking through logs. You can set filters and automations on your logs, which go through and find the high risk stuff or a chain of events that maybe look like a pattern of someone trying to infiltrate your system. What, however it goes, it just sort of works like that. So for question one, I'm going to give a point to AI. Question number two is which tasks in your job can be automated? Now this is a pretty broad subject, I guess, on cybersecurity anyway, because there are so many tasks that can be automated. I already mentioned one before, which was uh, checking through logs and filtering and finding high risk items or patterns in the logs. And that is already pretty much automated. So <laughs> I guess um, like half a point to AI here. However, a lot of the jobs can't be automated and it's like there are components of it that can be and cannot be and it's it seems like if you wanted to do a pen test on a specific system and you work in that organization maybe you have a set list of things that you're going to pen test against on um, like one particular web app so you could automate pretty much that entire thing you could script it out and just have it go bang 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 open open close close you know find ports that are open and um, check for specific vulnerabilities. You could potentially automate all of that if you really wanted and then it would spit out a report at the end if you had it do so. So I guess those sort of things are um, easily automated but it's it doesn't sort of end there. There's a lot more to it than just going through and checking if things are vulnerable or not because most of the firewall systems that you buy now anyway like the next gen checkpoint ones or the next generation Palo Alto firewalls they check all of that all the time anyway. So I guess that has also been automated. Now, this isn't sounding too good for uh, all those people who cry to me that automation's gonna take over the world. So I guess with question number two, AI wins that one as well. That yes, your tasks can be automated, but not all of them. Which leads me on to question number three. Of the components that can be automated, which ones would be more efficiently completed by a robot? So pretty much the exact ones that I just said, things that are going to take away from the deeper inspection that you would want a human to do. So if you have like all of these logs and it spits out a report, someone's gonna read that report. The AI is not built yet anyway to read over those reports and then make a decision, especially when there's risk involved. So that's one point to humans, which goes to question number four, which is, is there an aspect of risk that rule will require a human to check over what the AI has completed. And yes, there is a human aspect to it that needs to be done here. That's two points to humans, hell yeah. Of those two points against two points, 
I guess with cybersecurity, there is a large amount of risk. So for example, we'll go through with checking logs. You need it to go through and check the logs. It's gonna find a pattern. It's gonna take out hours and hours of your hard work that you could have spent trawling through these terrible logs, which is probably the most boring task in the world. And I think you're sort of getting the gist of where I'm going here. It's going to go through all of the really basic shit that can be done really quickly by a computer, but would take a human forever to check through, like logs, a perfect example. What it's going to report on then is this list of stuff that it's found, vulnerabilities, and it'll say, maybe we can run this script against this vulnerability and this one, but what if there's something new? What if there's an open port that wasn't open before? How did that happen? You, I guess you could tell the AI to close the port automatically, but what if it was open for a reason and someone, like a human error, didn't uh, log a job for it to say that it was being open for this specific application? Then you're gonna close that port or the AI would close it automatically and shit would break real quick. And I can tell you right now, management are not gonna be happy about that. So there's a huge risk involved here with changing stuff on systems. And it's not just networks, or you know, applying security controls to things like that. It's pretty much every industry has their own risk versus reward for something that can be done really quickly by a computer, but probably should be looked over by human eyes first to make a decision based on not just logic, which is what the computer's gonna go on, but actually going around and asking people what's happening here and you know what's going on. Because there is human error, there's also computer error, and you can't just assume that things are going to be completed correctly by AI. So anyway, that's my first episode of is AI going to take over my job? If you liked this video, don't forget to hit subscribe down the bottom. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And of course, throw a comment down below if you have any recommendations for uh, other is AI going to take over my job videos, as well as if you have any questions or maybe you have something else to contribute to this conversation about if AI is going to take over cybersecurity engineers' jobs. Thanks guys, and I'll see you on the next video.